Biodiversity is the foundation of life on Earth. It is the wide variety of species within an ecosystem that play a vital role in supplying services on which we all depend. The air we breathe, the fresh water we drink, the rich soil from which we grow our food, the climate that we live in are all examples of services provided by ecosystems. The health of an ecosystem depends on how many species are present. The wider the variety, the stronger the system. Currently, the planet's biodiversity has been dropping, with 130 species becoming extinct each day. That is a thousand times higher than the natural extinction rate. So why is this happening? People are the cause of this decline. Through habitat loss and fragmentation, invasive species, pollution, and climate change. In the U.S., we can see this habitat decline with the amount of virgin forest that has been disappearing since the 1600s. Each year, 2.2 million acres are lost to urbanization and sprawl. That's 9.3% of the land mass in the U.S. Looking at Virginia more specifically, we see the most threats to biodiversity in the developed areas. Invasive species are brought primarily by people into areas in which they did not originate. Since they have no natural predators, they completely take over, crowding out all of the native species and devastating the area's biodiversity. In Virginia, pollution is another prominent contributor to the loss of species. Non-point source pollution, such as the salts washed off roads, fertilizers from lawns and agricultural fields, and petroleum products contaminate surface waterways and groundwater. Climate change is taking its toll on Virginia's species as well. Of special concern is the loss of foundation species, such as submerged aquatic vegetation, marsh grasses, and oysters. These form the base of a productive and diverse ecosystem. As temperatures increase, disease flourishes wiping out all of the key foundation species in the Chesapeake Bay. Luckily, there are strategies to mitigate these impacts. Central Virginia Piedmont Program has devised a conservation strategy in Central Virginia improving biodiversity. The strategy requires the purchasing of the land, managing the land with an invasive species program, conservation easements, which is restricting the amount of development on the land, and education and outreach on ecosystems, as well as help to shape public policies benefiting the biodiversity in Central Virginia and community-based conservation, buying priority lands from local sellers. One other sustainability strategy that approaches the issue in a slightly different way is at the Hampton Road Sanitation District in Newport News. It offers a five-year biodiversity monitoring program to high school students. On 100 square meters of hardwood wetland area, the students identify, research, and document species that had never been documented before. This is one of more than 20 schools participating in this program, which brings education into the real world of sustainable strategies and spreads awareness on the crisis of biodiversity loss.